each personal vow that they've written. You're the greatest, truest gentleman I know. You're a champion of chivalry. You never leave a door for me at the vault. A hand hanging or a smile unreturned. Because of you, since we were friends, but over the years, your most charming strengths have kept me up when I'm at the weakest. On our first night living together, after having moved away from home for the first time, I woke up repeatedly throughout the night from the building backwards, sliding over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I was startled each time and very upset, feeling like our lives together were starting off on the wrong foot. It was a lot to adjust to for me, and I felt like moving to Brooklyn was a huge mistake. He kept me calm and reasoned that it was I'd adjust to the noise. But I was incorrigible, so he stayed up with me throughout the night, even though the sound didn't bother me. I got through that night. But later we would learn that not only do the door slam, but they creep too. <laughs> so it was like <laughs> When we found that out one night, you grabbed my olive oil drizzler and you headed out the door. I asked you where you were going with it, and you told me since it was so late at night, you were gonna go oil the hinges yourself with delicious olive oil. When the problem cropped up again another morning, I approached Victor, the porter, the one who looked like a convict, <laughs> to tell him about the incessant creaking. In response, he said to me, Oh yeah, I know, I'll take care of it. Yeah, your husband told me this morning. It was at that moment that I got a glimpse of what it would feel like to be called your wife. And you know what? It made me feel proud. And made me feel giddy inside and made me feel happy. Five years after that, we're standing here. I'm the luckiest girl hanging by my side. And to be called your wife is the greatest power. I promise to take care of you the way you do with me. I love you. I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together and battling each other's creepy sliding doors. Hey, Miss Sudan, nearly eight years ago, I called the senior manager. I must have the courage to ask him to be with me. That's not convincing, but soon, a soft kiss, sealed, and then not realized that it was important. At that time, I knew that my girlfriend was birthday from the beautiful, intelligent, occasional laughing fits of my bad jokes, and it had a mean body well spread. What I didn't realize was uh, that you have a scene in this pool of incredible quality and to you through the end of the songs. From the mission that started cooking to the perfect Bulgarian pronunciation that you used to warm my grandparents' hearts. The most essential quality, though, you're sacrificing each other. Through college, medical school, and now residency, you've been my strength, my motivation, my friend, and my unconditional love. The stress of an 80-hour work week can be slightly memorializing, not only for the medical training, but also for the partner when they want to announce that you're sure. You took the challenge of stride, and my success in the reflection of your unwavering support. I know that I bottle up my emotions and rarely articulate my feelings. And although these words can't describe my deep love for you, I have hope my actions. I promise to cherish you and never become complacent with your tireless efforts. I promise to work hard, both professionally, for a future family. 
and on a personal level to improve myself as a husband. Promise to love you. That's my final breath. Anne and Martin, do you both promise from this day forward to be faithful and true, to uphold the trust you place in each other, to celebrate the other's successes, and support each other in failure, to care for each other in sickness and in health, and to be loving companions on this journey together? Thank you. Constantine and Sherry, can you please give them their rings? Wedding rings are made precious by your wearing them, as they are a symbol of the commitment you've made to each other, the love you will share, and the vows you have taken here today. And please repeat after me. With this ring, I give you my heart. With this ring, I give you my heart. I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And my arms be your And my arms be your Martin, please repeat after me. With this ring, I give you my heart. With this ring, I give you my heart. I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And my arms be your home. And my arms be your home. Martin, please repeat So now, with the power vested in me by the state of New York, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs>